<coughs> the attitude of a real truth seeker would be one of open-mindedness. And yet, when we talk about truth, there are so many different levels of truth. We have conventional truth and we have ultimate truth. So even on the conventional level, we need to exercise a lot of uh, open-mindedness and to be comfortable with uncertainty. If we are comfortable with uncertainty, knowing that things are always subject to change and uh, whatever we know at any point of time is only tentative and will be subject to further um, updating due to uh, newer discoveries as we go along, then we can have uh, better access to truth because uh, the thing that obstructs a truth seeker is attachment to views, opinions, and being fixed in uh, whatever ideas that <coughs> he fancies or likes. When one has when one is comfortable with uncertainty, one is willing to explore <coughs> the many different possibilities that can <coughs> um, unfold if we look at them without any prejudice or bias. So, very often as Buddhists, Although faith is very important, there is a tendency for uh, Buddhists to cling very tightly to what the scriptures say. Now on the conventional level, the truth of what the, the truth or the accuracy or the authenticity of the scriptures is also a very big question now. In the old days, uh, when communication was very primitive, we had to be content with our own local tradition. But now, with so much information available in the internet and with the advancement of uh, communications, one can gain access to so many different versions of what the Buddha was supposed to have taught. Of course, not, a not everyone has the aptitude or the time or the resources to be able to go through all these different versions. And sometimes we need to rely upon reliable authoritative sources. And yet again, we must always remind ourselves that these are not final because it's only on the conventional level. When we talk about ultimate truth from the Buddhist perspective, for me, that means being able to go beyond or be liberated from the defilements. Whatever method that one uses, as long as it conduces to the reduction and eventual elimination or eradication of the defilements, then that's the best method for oneself. And this may, of course, vary with the individual.